Thanks for being with us today, guys. Again, hope you come back every month. Today, we're going to do some mindfulness training for ourselves to be in sync with the horse. With our horse, Sam, this is our Dr. Florian Berkmeyer, holistic psychologist. We're going to check to see how, what kind of mood Sam is in. Then we'll try to accommodate ourselves to him. Dr. Berkmeyer says it's funny you tell people to try to walk in step with the horse and they can't do it very well, but if you leave them to themselves, they eventually fall into it on their own. Okay, watch this graceful move yep. now. Oh, oh. Wow. That was impressive. I love that. Impressive, eh? Shaky in the saddle there, cowboy. Or on the back, since we're riding bareback here today. Okay, so now we want to do a cinch up a little bit on this. Okay, with your left hand if you're going to use it. What I prefer is you use that with your right. Uh -huh. A little bit, not too much. Then you use this to stabilize yourself. Alright. Okay. Let, let go of the rope on the left hand. Okay. Pretty soon we're going to be doing some galloping right here, not today, but before too long. Wind doesn't want me to uh, get Sam galloping my right now. That's when our equine expert. Stay on run. Oh, and then we're gonna clear up. She's gonna get him she's gonna get him paying a little more attention to us. Alright. Okay. 
uh, she said that uh, Sam doesn't want discipline today. I said, what do you mean discipline? She says, well, he wants to be off doing his own thing. He says, i got enough of messing with these people. Inhale three and out and chortle out through your mouth. There you go. Horses do that in order to release tension, anxiety, that sort of thing. Okay, and each step, say the mantra, match your steps. Since horses are so intimate with us and so trusting, once they get to know you that this is why it's such good therapy for for example folks with post-traumatic post stress like vets and anyone who Did has you feel like it was had a uh, walk, trauma you need to... in their lives okay so i think you should do it you should do one or two more laps and then switch places okay. Yeah, feel it. Sit, sit up there and with each step and you can both sort of mumble mindful so that you can hear Being each other. Being mindful so with your ears, actually, believe it or not, may seem like a simple thing to do, but uh, according to Wynn, it can take a very long time to learn. Weeks, months, even years. No, uh, until Leah feels she's ready, so I think one more lap's okay. Emergency dismount, uh, hug and roll, as we call it, if you should ever need to use it. His left side is his strong side, right, Wayne? <laughs> Do you need help? Good morning. Yay, she did it. All right, Leah. saying that I have a tendency to move out really fast, which is true, well, I'll say. Come on, buddy, let's go. I'm ready. Let's run, pal. Let's have a race here. Telling Sam not to flip Lee off. Thank you. 
As I've said before, Sam has a really big chorus. He's 16 hands high. That's a really big chorus. But a great and gentle guy and sensitive, wonderfully sensitive emotions. He had cancer and uh, at one time and when nursed him back to health, it went into remission, which is wonderful, isn't it? And when I had cancer, which also went into remission, Wynn swore that uh, Sam was aware of it and was empathizing and identifying with me. And I believe it. And you believe it too, those of you who haven't been out with horses yet when you do get out there with them, you'll, you'll find out. It's just wonderful. That's sexy, man. Did a good hug and roll there. That was very good. Oh yeah, water. Gotta have that water. You betcha. Yes, sir. Please come back every month, next month, October, with Dr. Florian Berkmeyer. There he is, our holistic psychologist, psychiatrist, and there's, and with Wynn, our equine expert, expert on horses, on all things having to do with horses. Thanks, guys. Come on back, please, every month, will you? Okay.